Hey Bass Fanatics, Den Herring here. My channel is Fish Den 365 Today we're going to focus on a few different things. I have some orders here that I've gotten from Tackle Warehouse and from eBay and from Bass Pro Shops and I'm going to share what I got with you, why I bought these items and what I'm using them for and, and how you can utilize them to improve your fishing. But before we do, this year during Christmas my brother got me a interesting fishing lure here. This came from a website called avidbasstackle.com and I'd like to talk to you a little bit about it. I was not aware of this, this uh, outfit. This is actually a copy of a Rebel Minnow, uh, of the largest one that Rebel makes. It's a really good copy of it. The sides of the bait have the exact same texture it's unpainted as you can see. The lip on it even says Rebel Minnow on the lip. So what this website offers is a number of lure blanks. They're all unpainted and they are blanks that are copies of some of the best lures on the market today. Some of them are so good that they look like exact duplicates. Others have slight differences. You might find that the weighting of the bait may be a, light, a little bit different or the rattles might be different. Uh, I can't tell you which is exact and which is not. I also can't tell you how good they are at fulfilling your orders with accuracy and that kind of thing because I have no experience with them. But I'm going to give you a brief tour of the website just so you can see the kind of stuff they have. It's, it's a pretty interesting website. They have these types of lures, but then they also have all types of tungsten weights, lure eyes that you can buy for your lures. It's a very interesting website, and I thought I'd share it with you. The, the, you know, these blanks, buying these blanks, they're incredibly cheap. It's pennies on the dollar for, for, uh, for buying these, these uh, duplicates or knockoffs of the lures that, uh, that are out there. And some of them I have a direct interest in. A few of them my brother bought from my dad, and, and I watched my dad test them, and I was pretty impressed with some of them. So I'll go over some of those with you. So uh, we'll show you that website right now. We'll tour it right now. Okay, so here's a look at avidbasstackle.com. Take a look at uh, this website here. Uh, you can see there is a ton of stuff here. Just taking a look at the lure blanks, and they have eyes, hooks, split rings, all types of stuff. If you take a look at the eyes, for example, just the eyes alone, look at the, look at the variety of things you can buy here. Tons and tons of different... Uh, I, and there's four pages worth of them, just eyes alone. So there's a lot to choose from. And when we look at lure blanks, there's a lot to choose from there too. Here's the Yozuri 3DS coffin bill crank bait. You can see there's a walking bait here. They have a number of Yozuri knockoffs. They have some Vixens that are sold out right now. They get these items that are sold out, they do get them back in. So some of this is, is uh, will be back and, and available again. Here's a Lucky Craft Pointer Double Deep. Here's a Fat Wrap. So you can just get an idea of, of what they have here. Here's a BBZ 1 8 inch uh, unpainted swim bait blank. I'm just going to go through these kind of quickly with you so you can see what they offer. And I'll share the, some of the experience that I have with some of these baits that my, my dad and my brother bought. Here's a Risto wrap. That's an interesting one right there. So you can just kind of see. Here's a a, a glide bait that I'm kind of having an interest in that I think I might like to check out. I'll click on that real quick and you see a better view of it. Not sure how it works. Don't have any experience with that one. Here's a Mega Bass 110. And you can see the prices here are extremely low. Again, these are knockoffs in most cases. They're not the exact bait. In some cases, they may be the exact bait. I, I'm, I'm not sure. Here's a 70 Lucky Craft Pointer DD Double Deep 78. Take a closer look at that. Pretty good looking bait. You may have an interest in this site. And if so, take a look, see what they got. You can see a lot of the best stuff seems to be sold out. They have uh, Whopper Plopper knockoffs that uh, are sold out at the moment. I'm waiting for them to come back. They look just like the Whopper Plopper 130 
Um, I don't know if I've been through those yet or not. Here's a here's the uh, rattle trap, three eighths ounce. They also have half and three quarter. And here's the three quarter. Now let's go back to page one here. I think that's where I may have missed a bay or two that I meant to talk about. This one here. This one is a very interesting bait. My my dad's got two of these. It's got like a jitterbug lip on it. It actually detaches, but then you can attach the lip. And I've watched as my dad tested this lure. It has a really nice action to it. It's uh, a lot like a jitterbug, but the shape of the bait, in my opinion, is actually better. It's more of a bait fish profile, and uh, it looked quite good in the water. And, you know, you can paint these any way you want, or you can use them clear. When it comes to topwater lures, I like to have clear topwater lures sometimes because, you know, topwater is a great clear water bait and if you have a, a bait that's somewhat clear it's just that much harder for the fish to get a good look at it and so on a pressured lake clear top water baits can be very good so here's that rebel f40 my brothers use this bait if you reel it very very slowly it makes a, a very nice wake on the surface he's actually gotten a couple of very nice striped bass on the lure so i know they can catch fish so anyway, I thought you might be interested in seeing that. They got a lot of other things here. They got all kinds of hooks that are available. I like the tungsten weights. Some of them look very good. You can see them here. 97% pure tungsten here. So uh, take a look at it. You might have an interest in buying something from this site. Again, I don't know how reliable they are with shipping and that kind of thing because I have no experience. But going forward, I will be purchasing some items from, from these folks. And as I do, I will share my experiences. I have read where there's been a few mistakes. I think my, one of them that I'm aware of is my brother ordered something and something was missing in the order. And I think he's waiting for that to come. And then I, I read a complaint online where someone ordered a top water lure with counter rotating spinners. And the, the spinners they got were the same. They weren't counter rotating. They both went in the same direction. And when they, I think they went on tackle underground and complained about it. And when they did, the uh, the folks at Avid Bass Tackle came through and sent them the right the right counter rotating blades and, and made them whole. So uh, apparently this is a legit site, and I think it'll be interesting ordering some of the stuff from here. Okay, so we're back here in my uh, recreation room, and I'm going to show you something that I bought from Bass Pro Shops first here. This is a Bass Pro Shops reel, which I've never bought before. This is a Johnny Morris Carbon Light 2.0. It's a high speed reel. It's 8.3 to one gear ratio, and it's a right hand retrieve. And uh, I, I bought this reel after doing some research online. I was looking for a reel and rod for frog fishing. I wanted something that would be effective for pulling big bass out of heavy vegetation, whether that's lily pads or milfoil, whatever that might be. Today, I am in need of a better outfit for that. I, I had some struggles last year uh, catching some fish and some pads where I could have used heavier equipment to get them out. And so that's what this reel and this rod are for. I bought a rod here from Tackle Warehouse. We're going to pull that out next and show it to you. But before we get there, this reel I did some research on it. I know that in the past, Fluger has made reels for Bass Pro. Today, there's some argument as to whether Fluger is still making the reels or not. It's either Fluger or Lose. I don't know which. I do know that I have a lot of experience with Fluger reels. I have their bait casters and I have some of their spinning reels. And they're both, from my point of view, a great reel for the price. The Fluger Baitcaster President is great. I have a bunch of the old Tryons that are old but still very reliable today. The Fluger Patriarch is a very good uh, baitcast reel that I have. And then the Fluger President uh, spinning reels are just unbelievable value for the price. So the reason I bought this, this particular reel is the fast gear ratio. 8.3 to 1 is what I wanted so that when I set the hook on a frogfish, I can start getting that thing, you know, the, the, the key to catching frogfish in the weeds is, is to get them up and out right away. So you set the hook, you get them, you get them, their mouths facing towards the surface and then you just, you just crank on them and get them out across those, across that uh, cover, across that thick weed cover as fast as you can. So you need a, a high speed gear ratio to do that. It makes it easier to do that, I should say. And you need a good heavy action rod uh, with a fast tip but uh, with a lot of backbone so that you can get that fish moving off the hook set. 
So we'll show you the rod next. Okay, so here is the rod that uh, we got. I just pulled it out of the package. It's a Dobbins Fury series rod. So both the rod and the reel, they're not high-end items. They're not high-priced. They're not low-priced items. I describe them as middle of the road. The reel price is somewhere around $130, $120 and the rod price is in the same price range. So this from a, from a price point of view is middle of the road, but I did my research on both these. This Fury rod is a top seller at Tackle Warehouse. Dobbins makes a, 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 a very nice rod. They make their higher end rods are really awesome, but even the Fury rod here is a, is a great rod. And I just wanna take a look at the, I always take a look at the guides first thing just to make sure that they're lined up very good. I usually like to buy my rods, see them before I purchase them just so I can see the rod. But this was a Tackle Warehouse purchase, so it just came in the mail and it's looking really good, just taking a look at it here. The other thing I always like to do is just check the stiffness of the rod. And yeah, this thing is a heavy action and that's what you need. So I, I bought a, a seven foot rod. I'm a very, I'm not a very tall person. It's funny, I used to be five foot nine. Today I have to really uh, stretch to be five foot eight. I've lost about an inch, almost an inch and a half. Uh, I have a, my spine is a bit curved and uh, I'm not as tall as I used to be. I guess that's the effect of gravity. So not being a very tall person, I don't like fishing anything longer than a seven foot three inch rod. This is a seven footer. It's got a uh, good backbone, plenty of power so that I can get these fish, these frogfish out of the weeds and it should do the job for me. Now, the, the, the Bass Pro Shops Carbon Light, I read some good reviews about it, people who really have used it and put it through some trials, and it's held up pretty well for them. For the price point, if the thing died on me at some point in the future, I wouldn't be too terribly upset because I didn't pay a, a huge price for it. Uh, when it comes to reels, I do like, there's, you know, this, like I said, this is the first time I bought a Bass Pro Shops. I don't know if this is made by Fluger or not. I love Fluger reels, I think they're very good. I also like Shimano very well. The, uh, the Shimano Curado is a very good reel too. So I'm looking forward to getting these things made it up and trying them out and seeing how they, how they hold up. But this Dobbins rod, I, I already like the, the feel and the look of it quite a bit. It's a very light rod and uh, it's got the power that I need. Last week I found <coughs> one of my favorite topwater lures was for sale on eBay and I used my eBay app on my phone and I put a, a bid in. You can, you can select the highest bid that you want to go and then it'll bid for you. And so I think I put in $28. I ended up getting these three baits for $12 and then I paid $6 for shipping. And if you were following any of my videos, during the summer, you would you would know that uh, these baits are some of my favorites. So this is a Norman top dollar. You can't buy the bait anymore at the stores. Norman no longer produces it, but you can find them on eBay. And I got three in a color that I like. This is called Nutter Shad. I actually like clear Nutter Shad better, but this is not a bad color at all. Plus this is a good color that if you wanted to just repaint it, you can do your own paint job on something like this. And uh, so I may have it custom painted or a couple of these custom painted. I have to make a decision. First thing I'll be doing on these is changing out the hooks to uh, number four Gamagatsu EWG hooks. They're, they're a great hook for these type of lures. And so I'm happy to see that I've got a few more top dollars. They're getting harder and harder to come by. And I was real happy. It, it was uh, an interesting thing. The person that puts these on eBay he always has them up on a Sunday night. That's when a lot of people are typically available. And usually the, the bidding stops at eight o'clock. But I think he may have forgotten that this past Sunday was New Year's Eve. And so there were only a few bidders on there. They were all doing other things. So I got a good price on these baits. All right, let's take a look at what I have here in the uh, Tackle Warehouse box. Been looking forward to taking a look at uh, all the fun stuff that I bought here. Oh boy, see some things are just free floating in the box. I'm not sure if that's a good thing or not, but we'll find out. Got my decal here. If you spend so much money, you get a decal. Somewhere in here, there should be a shirt because I spent that much money. So the first thing here, here's just one of these laying out here um, loose. I'm not sure what happened there. It must have fell out of the package, but you can see I bought a bunch of these swim, swim bait heads. So let me just pull them all out. They're all the same. They're just different weights and different sizes. Here's the one that must have ripped open. That it, uh, It's actually a good thing. I can show it to you a little bit uh, easier. 
All right, so let's take a look at that. So this is a, a swim bait head. It's a Matt Allen swim bait head. Matt Allen and Tim Little have the Tactical Bassin channel on YouTube. And Matt Allen designed this swim bait head uh, to be a little bit different. And it has to do with the angle of the line tie. Now what I have been throwing uh, and doing very well with and very successful with is having a 90 degree line tie. In other words, it, it just comes right off the top of the, of the jig. And that's a very stable method of, of throwing the bait. This angle here is said to make the bait, to make the head unstable so that when you're throwing a swim bait on the back of this, it actually causes the head to wobble more. And so you have a little more, the theory is you have a little more action out of the bait. Matt Allen designed it. I'm sure if he said that and that's why he designed it, I'm sure it's true. So I'm looking forward to trying these with my swim baits to see if it gives me an improved action and to experiment a little bit and see how well they catch fish. And so that's what all these are. They're dirty jigs, swim bait heads. They're diff different sizes. I got three eighths ounce all the way up to three quarter and then I got some different colors. They only come in three colors, I believe, on Tackle Warehouse. So uh, I bought a little bit of everything in those weights. What's more important to me is the actual weight of the head. Uh, obviously, the heavier the, the swim bait head, the deeper the application, the deeper you want to fish it. All right, so we'll put these down over here. What's next? So here's a lure that uh, I've, this is a, Man, I'm having a hard time talking today. I'm sorry, folks. But this is a bait uh, that's made by Lunker Hunt, and I don't know anything about it. There's only one reason why I bought it, and I'll explain it in a minute. Let me pull it out of the box first. So it's a, it's a dragonfly. It actually comes with its own hook. And this is uh, actually a dragonfly imitation, and this is some type of foam rubber. It's, it's pretty tough. I don't think it's going to tear or rip apart very easily at all. And you can see it does have a very good dragonfly fly profile. I can imagine this being on the top of the water. It'll look like quite a large dragonfly. I don't know how to rig it. I have to figure that out. Maybe I'll do a video on this next summer, but there's one reason why I bought it, and I'll explain that right now. There's a Pocono Mountain Lake, and every year in post-spawn during June, this lake has an incredible dragonfly bite. I, I can't tell you how many times I've been there in June and watched this happen. These dragonflies are buzzing all over the top of the water surface, and largemouth bass are literally coming out of the water, jumping out of the water to get these things. I've seen it multiple times my brother and I and I never had a, a good imitation of a dragonfly to throw at them. What I did throw is some soft plastics unweighted that had similar profiles and I did quite well with them. But this thing is is a dead ringer for what I see flying out there and what I see these bass going after. So I'm looking forward to figuring out a way to rig this and then to use it on that particular lake. If you're curious about what that lake is, it is on some of my videos, and I do mention the lake on the video. So if you watch some of the summer videos, you'll figure it out. I can't wait to try this dragonfly pattern in June there. All right, what's this? Ah, this is a culprit bait. So uh, let's see here. Oh boy, I might have to run and get this. No, don't have to get this. Here. So let me open this up. So this is called a, a culprit frog. It's really a toad. And I became aware of this bait because uh, another YouTuber, his channel is Bama Bass, uh, showed this bait, I think, last summer. It, it's uh, a heavier plastic, so it does very well in thick weeds, thick milfoil. It makes a little bit more of an indentation when you're reeling it across. And this color is a real nice color. It's called uh, Bama Bug. It's a good bluegill imitator. And so I'm looking forward to throwing this bait. In, in his video, he has some tremendous topwater smashes on it, and uh, I just thought I'd give it a try. So that's what this is. Of course, it's a long wait till summer to fish these things, but it's coming, and when it does, I want to be ready. All right, so I got some big bite baits here too, and, and uh, you know, I've been experimenting more and more with these big bite baits. Last fall, I was throwing some at my local lake, and I did okay with them. And, and this one is uh, an interesting bait. I've got a couple of different baits here. So these are, the first one I want to show you is a craw tube. Let me open this thing up. I read uh, 
some conflicting reviews. Some people really like these, some people don't. Some people say they don't have enough action. But I have a feeling that for my application, they're going to do quite well, and so I'm looking forward to fishing them. Let me pull one out of the package here and we'll show it to you. So here it is, it's called a craw tube. It's a hollow body bait, so you can do some interesting things with that. You can put some scent in there, you can put some noise making devices in there. It's got these uh, flappers here with what looks like crayfish, but then it also has the tube tentacles. And uh, it, it, it actually resembles a little bit uh, the fat ica. Um, if you fish the fat ica by Yamamoto, this bait could be a, a good replacement for that bait or something similar to it. It's fairly heavy. Uh, I will probably, you know, I won't fish this weightless. I will fish this with a, you know, with some weight in front of it and Texas rig it and throw it around that way. But I like this particular color. I'm not sure what the color's called. I'm trying to remember. I will put it in the description for you so that you can see it. In fact, all of this stuff that I'm showing here, we'll put links in the description so that you can take a look at it more closely and see if uh, it's something you have an interest in. So that's that one. And then I got another one, just a different color, same bait. And here's another bait by Big Bites called the 4-inch Swimming Mama. So let's take a look at this. Something attracted me about this when I bought it. If I can just uh, get the package open here, we'd be good. There we go. Oh yes. So here's a here's this is why I bought this bait. I, I like uh, I like the profile of the bait because I think you can use it as a jig trailer. It's got these uh, flappers, and uh, obviously they'll make quite a bit of action. And it's got these also these appendages too. Also this bait, you know, it's got a very similar profile to a sweet beaver, which I fish quite a bit, but it has the action tails. So um, you can fish this on the same three-aught hook, for example, as you'd fish a beaver. If they don't want that, that beaver action, then maybe they want an action tail action and I can quickly change out. So that's my thinking with getting these baits. Also, I think they might make a very good jig trailer. So I'll experiment with that too. Anyway, that's the bait. It's the same color as this other one, so uh, in the description I'll put that color for you. The number for the color is 1099. I just don't know <laughs> what the name of that color is anymore. Okay, so not much left in the package here. I got my, my free Tackle Warehouse shirt for ordering all this stuff, so that's cool. I gotta rip it open and see. I got a large. <laughs> Assuming that uh, it'll probably shrink a little bit. Let's see if it's all cotton or not. It is 100% cotton, so it will shrink. And actually, it's not that big anyway. It'll fit me anyway. So uh, that's it. Nice shirt. Something that I look forward to wearing come summer. I do have one more item in here uh, with this, the gift card that I got. My brother got me a gift card for $200. No. For $150 and then my wife got me a $200 gift card and then I had a friend who bought me a $25 gift card all the tackle warehouse so I have more shopping to do there were some items that I wanted that I noticed were on back order so I'll be making another order in the near future and maybe down the road we'll share that to you or with you so I got a uh, Linder's angling edge thing here this is only like eight bucks it's uh, a precision jigging DVD I like watching these kind of things past some of the time in the winter and so that's what I'll be doing with this always trying to learn something new or something different and uh, and then sometimes it's good just to be reminded about the basics now and then too so that's it for today I hope you enjoyed the video if you did please hit that like button subscribe tell your friends about this too that avid bass tackle website was interesting I'm sure some of you will find that very interesting if you're not aware of it already so uh, subscribe to the channel and may God bless your fishing endeavors we'll see you soon